Jump in, let's flex for the pick. We looking so good, make our exit stick. Promise to be here. We're so for better. Welcome to Marriage is Honorable. I am yours truly, Andrew Norman, and with me is my beautiful wife. Darn it, Norman. Right, and we are continuing to look at this topic, long-distance relationship. Earlier we looked at in marriage, but now we're looking at it in dating and courtship. Isn't that an interesting topic? We actually lived that also yes. um, in our relationship. Yes, we were separated for three and a half years during courtship. Um, yes, the first half year we were pretty much in touch, but then three years of long distance relationship because he worked overseas, traveling from countries, different countries, country to country across the world. Yeah, on a cruise ship. Yeah. <laughs> right. And um, we have a scripture here that we want to kind of read for everybody. It says that every one of you should, pos should know how to possess his vessel or his body in sanctification and honor. So, everyone, that's not just talking about married people, every one of you yes. need to know how to possess his body or her body in sanctification and yes. honor. honor. And this is marriage is honorable. Interesting yes. word there again, yes. honor. Right. So, um, many times I, in, in counseling um, couples and in talking to uh, young men who I talk to a lot in my job, I remind them that uh, a female is not just a body. <laughs> you know, that's a big important topic there because, point, because um, when we're relating to persons, and I remind young men, and, and persons in dating and courtship, that um, when you see a person as body, soul, spirit, um, or that there's a physical dimension to them, there's an emotional dimension, there's a, a social dimension, a spiritual dimension, and intellectual, which other one? Intellectual. intellectual or academic dimension. Yeah. So you're talking to the whole person. Yeah. So in courtship, we usually focus on the other dimensions. The physical dimension of relationship usually happens after the marriage. Yes. Right. Um, and, and so therefore, we are saying that marriage is honorable and we are instructing those who are in long distance relationship while you court mm -hmm. to make make sure that you possess your vessel in sanctification, sanctification and honor there are persons that have have have, have thought that okay once we are engaged it's it's a it's a license to engage in sexual intercourse and to en engage in physical contact that defiles your temple mm -hmm. you need to realize that when you violate the conscience of someone who you are dating you are dishonoring the Holy Spirit. Right. And so therefore the temptation comes when there's a long distance affair and they say absence make the heart grow fonder. And especially when a person has to just come in for a few minutes or come come like fly into a, a, the country for a, a few days or two or, or travel from one part of the country to another part. There is a temptation to engage in sexual activity and even and, and one thing I need to encourage you to be very cautious of there are many couples I know who have engaged each other after a prayer meeting. That's right. Right, because so, your, your your whole soul and spirit is open and your guards are down. The, right. the, 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 the guards for the relationship must be up in the stay away from bedrooms, stay away from places where you are alone together, avoid uh -huh. intimate, areas. keep body parts out of body parts mm -hmm. and stay focused on the Lord. Mm -hmm. Long distance relationship is not an excuse to engage sexually just because you are you are hungry for each other's presence. So we want to encourage those who are watching. You're in a long distance relationship. Um, and by the way, I, I also want to challenge you to keep relationships on the internet and on the phone acceptable to God. Whatever right. you do and in word or deed must be done to the honor and glory of God, even during long distance interaction on the telephone or social media. Right, so we should not be seeing anything in the part of the person that we should not see before the time. Yes. Right, so not because it's a video mean you should show things to the other person yeah. that they should not be seeing before you get married. And be careful of dark spots. You are attracted to somebody and they like you, you like them. Don't go into these dark areas where nobody can see you. Do what you're doing. If you're having a prayer meeting, pray in the public or in a public setting where yeah. people can see you. 
all right and preserve yourself in honor and in sanctification. sanctification the good thing about long distance relationship in dating and courtship is that you can really spend time to get the, to know the person um in the other dimensions other than the physical yes so you have the social and the emotional and um the the um, academic side of the person and, that, and the spiritual side you can develop that um your relationship like that during that season of the long, long distance relationship yeah i just feel like praying for someone because i remember um how i felt when and we were dating and we were courting for three years before our marriage i want to challenge you to keep it pure keep it mm -hmm. acceptable to god father in the name of jesus yes, lord. for whatever reason whether it is work or study mm -hmm. or for convenience lord um the, the couples are away from each other in this time as they look towards marriage we pray for sanctification and yes, honor lord yes. that they will indeed remember that marriage is honorable and allow you to wash them and use this time to prepare them lord properly yes. properly in the yes, name of yes. jesus we speak a blessing over them lord and we pray for those mm -hmm. who you it's not your will for them to be married that you will by your holy spirit put it in their hearts to give over to you and break up those relationships but for those that you have ordained yes. we pray that you will sanctify them to your truth because your word is truth keep them pure and keep them in yes, accountable Lord. keep them in the love of god yes Father. we love you and we bless you for them in jesus name amen god bless you guys and remember that marriage, marriage is, is honorable, honorable.